of the 2021 season, Kyle Larson. And I think he's going to keep up his momentum and win at least a minimum of five races. For Kyle Busch, this season will be one of his biggest, I think. It'll be one of his most consistent. Moving on to Ryan Blaney. Um, I think he's going to be the top driver at Penske this year with Brad Keselowski being gone. Joey Logano, I just don't think is going to have as good of a season as he usually does. I think this is going to be kind of the season where he kind of suffers a little bit. So I think Ryan Blaney. Hopefully this year is going to be better than last year. Oh boy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the annual NASCAR predictions video on my channel. This year we are doing 23 predictions for the 2023 season. This is totally an original idea, never been done before, don't look it up. No seriously, go check out the Ice Breaks video up there. As you saw in the quick little intro, last year was not really a good year for predictions. I got a lot wrong, uh, very wrong, a lot very, very wrong. Last year was also a very unpredictable year, so don't blame me. Here is how the video is going to go. We're going to start it off with 10 predictions for drivers, 6 for the Cup, 2 for the Xfinity Series, and 2 for the Truck Series. We will then move on to 5 team predictions, 5 track predictions and then the final three are going to be bonus predictions. After that, I'll give you my playoff predictions, who I think will make it to the playoffs, who I think is going to make it to the round of 12, the round of 8, the round of 4, and then eventually the champion, and even the champion for the Xfinity and Truck Series as well. Without further ado, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Starting off with the first prediction, I think Joey Logano is going to win three or more races this year. I believe that Joey Logano is entering his prime, per se, his dominant part of his career. I think by the end of his career, I think he is going to be a three or four time champion. So there's a little bit of an extra prediction for you guys. Moving on to number two, I think that AJ Allmendinger is going to win a race this year in the Cup Series. Being that he is now full-time with Colleg Racing, I think that he is going to perform really, really well, and this will be a great year for Colleg Racing altogether. Moving on to number three, Ty Gibbs, as a rookie, is going to win a Cup Series race this year, and I'll even tell you guys where it will be. I think it will come after the playoffs have started. And I'm honestly leaning more towards Kansas or Martinsville. One of those two, I think, Ty Gibbs will get it done. Moving on to number four. Jimmy Johnson is now a part owner with Petty GMS Racing. With it, he has announced that he is interested in running a couple races this year. However, I think his competitive days are far beyond him. I think in Jimmy Johnson's return to the Cup Series, he will finish no higher than fifth. In fact, I don't think he's ever going to crack into the top 15 without something going on like green flag pit stops. Being a lifelong Jimmy Johnson fan, ooh, this hurts to say. Number five, I think that the most deserving driver this year will not win the championship. Number six, Noah Gragson is going to finish in second place three times this year in 2023. He's going to be oh so close to winning his first Cup Series race, but he will not get it done this year. In fact, another kind of bonus prediction for Noah Gragson, I think his year is going to be very up and down. It is going to be an absolute roller coaster. He's going to have some amazing races, like the second place finishes I mentioned, but he's also going to struggle immensely at others. So very, very rocky road for uh, Noah Gragson ahead. Moving on to the Xfinity series, I think that Josh Berry is going to be the most dominant driver in the Xfinity series. This I year. think this is the year that Josh Berry finally steps it up a notch and just proves everyone why he's here. I think he'll get probably about five or more wins. Number eight, all the super speedway races in the Xfinity series are going to have a shock winner. Whether that be someone who usually doesn't run up front or someone who wasn't even in contention the lap prior. Moving on to the truck series and number nine for drivers. I think that Jordan Anderson and Carson Hosevar are going to win a race this year. Finally. About time. Took them long enough. Goodness gracious. And the last one for the drivers. Of course, Haley Deegan. Haley Deegan will finally finish in the top three. I'm sorry to those Haley Deegan fans, but I don't think she's going to win this year. 
but I do think that she is going to make some serious strides to show that she is a stock car racer and deserves to be in NASCAR. And that is all for uh, the drivers. So moving on to the team prediction. To start it off, it's gonna be a fairly simple one. I think that Hendrick Motorsports is going to win a combined 12 races between all four of their drivers. And they will also get every single one of their drivers into the round of 16 as well, of course. It's Hendrick Motorsports. What else do you guys expect? However, for the next one, I think that Joe Gibbs Racing is going to struggle immensely for the first part of this year. But they are going to pick it up later on in the season once it's too late to run for a championship. While Joe Gibbs is going to struggle, Team Penske is going to dominate this season. I think this is going to be one of their best seasons they've had in a really, really long time. Not necessarily for wins, but all three of their drivers are going to be running up front basically every single race. And I think that just about every single race, a Penske driver will be at least in contention to win it. They are also going to be the team with the fewest amount of DNFs. Moving on to Stuart Haas Racing. I think that they are going to struggle so much this year that rumors are going to start about their demise in NASCAR. However, for track house racing, I think that they are going to have a really good year this year. Not quite as good as last year in playoffs wise, but I do believe that they are going to nab a couple more wins, top fives and top tens than they did in the previous year. That's going to do it for the team predictions. Moving now on to the track prediction. And my first prediction for the tracks is I think that the super speedways are going to kind of suck this year. They're not going to be as good as they have been in years past. And it's just going to be kind of a snooze fest with not too many major wrecks or major battles for the lead. I do think that the Xfinity series is going to be pretty good, but the Cup series, I don't think the super speedways are going to be the fan favorites this year. Except for the Daytona 500, which I'm predicting that the Daytona 500 this year will be one of the best in modern NASCAR. I think it's going to be a great race all around. It's going to be a great winner. Fans are going to love this race, and it's just it's just going to be a awesome race that people are going to be talking about for weeks on end. I also think that Auto Club is going to be a really good race this year, and fans are just going to love it so much to the point where they're going to be calling out to NASCAR to not destroy the track and build it as a short track. Another race that I think is going to be an amazing hit this year is going to be the all-star race. Of course, throwing it back to North Wilkesboro this year. I think this is going to be an instant fan favorite. And from this point, I think that North Wilkesboro Speedway is going to stay for many, many decades. Now for the Chicago street course. I don't think this race is going to be good. I think it is going to be an absolute disaster. I was planning on attending this race because I live near Chicago. I would have loved to go see this. However, ticket prices for like general admission are like two to three hundred dollars and I don't got that kind of money. In fact, I could have bought a hotel on overlooking the track from like 12 stories up for cheaper than the ticket prices. So just, just put that into perspective. With all this combined with the politics, the ticket prices, the location, everything, I just think this race is going to be kind of a disaster. It's not going to go well, and NASCAR is probably not going to try street course racing for a while after this. Only three more predictions remain, and I'm starting off with a doozy. This one went super well last year. <laughs> no, it didn't. I'm predicting that there is going to be no flips in 2023. You know what? Let me say that again just for the uh, memes in the future when I do see a flip happen. Um, <clears throat> I think there's going to be no flips in 2023. No, no, let's try that again. There will be no flips in either NASCAR. <clears throat> there will be no flips in any NASCAR series in 2023. I'm going to regret this. <laughs> Yep, I'm doing it again. I'm doing it again. Um, if you guys didn't know, I predicted that last year, and um, we had six flips across the board. I believe it was six. I think it was. I don't know. Six or five. Five or six. One of the two. I'm predicting it again. There's going to be no flips this year in 2023. Um, just, just why not? I, I, I don't really have anything else to say. Last year failed so bad. My reasoning behind last year was like the cars are heavier. It's a new car. People are going to be careful. Nope. 
people are not going to be careful with this car, I guess, and, until people started getting concussions, and that just went really dark really quick. Moving on to the next one. I'm predicting that there's not really going to be much problems with start times this year. With NASCAR having rain tires at a lot more tracks, I think that NASCAR is not going to have too many uh, start times, which means the ratings and also ticket sales and attendance is going to be on the rise, which is my next prediction. Ticket sales are going to go up. Attendance is going to be higher than it's ever been. And I think the ratings for um, TV is going to go through the roof this year. Well, not really through the roof. It's just going to be better than what it was last year and in years prior. This is going to be one of the best years for NASCAR as far as numbers go in a long, long time. Before we get into the playoffs and who's going to make it, I'm going to make a quick prediction and say there are going to be 18 drivers who are going to win a race this year. These are their names. This is who I believe is going to win a race in 2023. Moving on to the playoff predictions. In no particular order, well, actually it is kind of a particular order, alphabetical by their last name. Here's who is going to make it into the round of 16. Christopher Bell, Ryan Blaney, Alex Bowman, Christopher Busher, <laughs> Kyle Busch, William Byron, Ross Chastain, Chase Elliott, Denny Hamlin, Eric Jones, Brad Keselowski, Kyle Larson, Joey Logano, Tyler Reddick, Daniel Suarez, and Bubba Wallace. Those are the 16 drivers that I have making it to the round of 16. Now moving on to the round of 12. I have Christopher Bell, Ryan Blaney, Christopher Busher, Kyle Busch, William Byron, Ross Chastain, Chase Elliott, Denny Hamlin, Kyle Larson, Joey Logano, Tyler Reddick, and Daniel Suarez. The drivers I do not have making it to the round of 12 are Alex Bowman, Eric Jones, Brad Keselowski, and Bubba Wallace. Moving on to the round of eight. I have Christopher Bell, Ryan Blaney, Kyle Busch, William Byron, Ross Chastain, Chase Elliott, Kyle Larson, and Joey Logano. The drivers, of course, not making it to the round of eight are Christopher Busher, Denny Hamlin, Tyler Reddick, and Daniel Suarez. And finally, the drivers who will make it to the round of four are as follows. Ryan Blaney, William Byron, Chase Elliott, and Joey Logano. That's right, it is going to be a head-to-head -head battle between Team Penske and Hendrick Motorsports. But you all are probably wondering, who do you think is going to win? Well, well, well. I am making a bold prediction this year. Very bold prediction, actually. Um, something that has not happened in a very long time. We are going to see a multi-year champion. That eliminates two drivers, by the way. The driver who I have winning the 2023 NASCAR Cup Series Championship is none other than Joey Logano. That's right, we're gonna see a back-to-back -back champion. I predicted that last year and that didn't really go well, so let's hope this year goes well. We are going to see a back-to-back -back champion this year. Joey Logano is going to win his third championship in 2023 wow that's crazy that's crazy to think that that actually is a possibility i promised it at the beginning of this video here's who i think will win the xfinity and the truck series championship in 2023 i think that josh barry is going to win the xfinity series championship and zane smith is going to win the truck series championship Anyway, guys, that's going to do it for me. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you have watched all the way to the end of this video and you enjoyed it, consider hitting that subscribe button. It will really help out the channel so much. I really do appreciate all the support you guys have shown this channel in its first year. Like, I did not think that this channel would even get remotely close to where it is right now in one year. So thank you guys so much. And with that being said, hopefully you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a good one.